Okay, today we're going to make a keychain using Autodesk Inventor. So the first thing you want to do is open a new file. We want to do the standard IN. Hit create. Okay. Um, after you've done that, we want to start a 2D sketch. And we want to use the XY plane. And we're going to make this a rectangle. So choose the rectangle tool. I would start in this quadrant. Drag out a rectangle. Okay. Right click and hit OK. And of course we're going to go back and dimension that rectangle now. For the top, let's make it 4 inches. Okay. And if you can't see it, drag over here, hit the front. It will resume it for you. And on the side dimension, let's make that two inches. Once you've done that, go ahead and right click, hit OK. Now you're back to your pointer and we're going to do something a little bit different now. We're going to go ahead and do a fillet on these edges while it's in 2D mode. Now this is kind of tricky. You have to get, make sure you get where you're seeing this curve. And if I scroll in here, you'll see that. So let's do that to all four sides of your rectangle. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit OK. And it will keep those sides for you. Okay? We've got a keychain. Right now it's two dimensional. Before we put a hole or anything in it to where the the clip would go, let's go ahead and do an extrusion. So right click, finish 2D sketch. Again, hit the home button so you can see that. And now let's do an extrusion. Okay. We don't want it to be one inch thick since it's going to be a keychain something in our pocket. Let's make it a half inch thick. So just put 0.5. Hit OK there. And then hit the front. <clears throat> so now you have a 3D shape and we're going to put a hole in it now so you can slide your key clip through it. So right click on the front, hit new sketch. Okay, again hit front so you can see that. What we're going to do now, we're going to make a hole. So click on the center point circle. And what I want you to do, drag on this line and you see how that lights up green? That tells me I'm at the center of this side of my rectangle, and that's where I want to be. So now I'm going to drag my hole down from there. Make sure it's green. Drag my hole down from there, and let's make a hole 0.4 inches. Okay, right click and hit OK. Now we want to move this a certain distance down. So we're going to add a dimension. Click on the outer part of the circle this line, drag it back to you, and let's make that 0 0.4 inches. And as you can see, it moves it down. Now we've got to make this hole where it's going through our rectangle. So right click, finish 2D sketch. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. I'm using the hand tool there. Now we're going to do an extrusion. And let's change that direction. And instead of distance, change it and make it say all. Hit OK. And now you have a hole that you could put this on your keychain with. I'm going to go ahead and change the color here. I'm going to pick a light red. We'll make this Hancock County themed. You can choose any color you want when we go back. And it's going to be your decision when we add the text later. So now that's light red. I've got a 3D hole or a 3D shape with a hole through it. Okay, if I rotate it around, you can see that. Okay, I'm going to hit back to the home. Then I'm going to hit front. And now we're going to add some text to this. So right click, new sketch. Okay, and you're back in 2D mode. I want you to click this text feature. 
we're going to make a text box. Try and line it up where it's going to be centered with your hole. Okay, so I'm going to drag that, and it's going to bring up some text. To make it look better, you can change it. Go ahead and center it, and then type what you want. I'm going to put Hornets since it's a Hancock County theme. Okay. Um, I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to make it bold. And then I'm going to choose a different font. And you can choose any font you want. Um, practice with it and get something you like would be my suggestion. I'm going to choose Arial Rounded Bold. and eh, I don't really like that. Or that. Just choose a font that you like that you would want on your keychain. I'm going to go with script MT bold. Okay, now that's really small, so I'm going to change the size. Remember, our shape is 2 inches tall, so I'm going to make this 0 0.75 inches tall. And then hit OK, and it fits in there. Okay, it's a little bit big, but that's okay. Um, it's not going over your hole. If it does, you need to go back and edit and change that. Okay, we've got that done, so I'm going to right click, hit OK. You can see it says Hornets in black. Right click Finish 2D Sketch. And now we're going to engrave this. Okay, you hit the emboss tool, highlight the shape. Let's make it go 0.25 inches. And then you want to switch to engrave. And I'm going to change the color to white. Hit OK here, hit OK here, and we should have a white script inscription. Okay, and you can see it doesn't do all of it. It just does the letters itself, the front of them. But now if you look around, I have that in Hornets. Um, you can go through and adjust it. It doesn't go all the way through, so we didn't make our engrave too thick. And then once you're done with this, and you can make the text anything you want. We want to go and do a file, save as, make sure you're in your inventor folder. I'm going to put HCMS keychain. And you've made a keychain using Autodesk Inventor.